Hey guys, welcome on back to the channel. Mackenzie over here showing you around a Midnight Blue 70 Chevelle SS. This is a hot car, love the color combo. It's got a really unique interior as well. We're sporting big block power under the hood if the title didn't tell you. And we got a really nice Tremec 5 speed behind that. Kick it off right up front. Chrome looks good. Headlight buckets all fit nice. The hood is dropped down into those fenders very nicely too. So that they've done a proper job laying on the racing stripes. I noticed one little blemish in the chrome here. Looks like the top layer of that bright stuff has flaked off. Aside from that, I don't see any blemishes in the chrome anywhere else. No dents or dings. SS badge standing proud. A couple of hood pins. These are always a good time. Release this like so, and like that, and then we got. Heck yeah. 454 under here. This is all rebuilt. We got good documentation on that. Look at, we got a polished water pump, polished intake manifold, nice chrome valve covers, and a really slick set of ceramic coated long tubes. I'm digging this. Four barrel up underneath that nice air cleaner, proper and functional cowl induction hood as well as the uh, intake base too. A little bit of chrome here, some stainless steel hardware, factory style radiator. It's like a newer shroud with a uh, little aluminum fan up, up behind that. And this car is equipped with power disc and power steering. How does it close? Very nice, I'd say. Cool. We're gonna shoot down the side of this car. Wheel arch moldings all looking great. 15 inch SS wheels looking awesome, wrapped in a white letter BFG. That's a 235-60 R15, and you notice the disc brakes behind those. SS 454 badging looks awesome. Gaps are great, not only here, but as you look down this, they're not stepped, they're sitting flush, which I really dig. Nice finish on the mirrors. All the bright work on this car is really fine, actually. Um, sits in there nice, looks like it's firm, no, chips, cracks, nothing to, to share with you on the, the windshield here. Just a little bit of tint at the top as there would have been. Chrome work here is nice. Good gaps again. No crack in the paint. Look how slick that roof is. All right, we got some good hips on this car and they're filled out by a little bit more rubber out back. This is a 255 60R15. Deck lid looks nice and proper. Again, they killed it with these stripes. Gaps are consistent. Bright work back here is awesome. And if you take just a step back with me, Check out that dual exhaust, looking good. Kind of a trumpet style tip, but very much uh, just, you know, oval stainless pipe with a little bit of flare. And this gap and this gap, on point. This fits very right and tight as it should. Good job, good job. All right, out back here, not a ton going on. I have the, uh, the jack there for you, a nice car cover, and uh, we gotta get proper with it. Uh, we can bolt this up right over there. See, it looks good. I'll show you how this closes. Passenger side quarter looks great. This paint is like glass. If you get a look at this rear glass, you notice that has a good bit of tint on it. Trim law looks very nice. Glass is nice and clear and clean. Wheel arch molding is awesome. Door gaps are awesome. This area, whew, this is a, a, a really nice job done on this one. Um, even if you get low on this car, I mean, the rocker, door, and fender fitment, everything you could want it to be. And again, with that SS cowl induction head, blue, white stripes. Let's check out the interior. Smooth, smooth action on the door. So smooth, I had to say it twice. Door cars are really clean. All factory stuff here looking good. Carpet kit looks awesome. I love bucket seats with a console in any old muscle car. 70 Chevelle SS, all the better. Um, there's that, that shift handle. It's a Hirsch lever on top of that Tremec 5-speed. Looks good. Beautiful set of SS instruments. We have a voltmeter TAC Speedo running up to 120. This one's currently showing 12,000 miles. We have a working clock, coolant temp gauge, and a fuel gauge right over here. And an updated Kenwood radio. This gives you Bluetooth, AM, FM, and XM, believe it or not. And we also have our heater controls there. Downstairs, we got a couple more gauges showing us some of our vitals. You know, we got oil pressure, we have coolant temp once more, and then another voltmeter. Right here, where you can find the ashtray in this car. Cigarette lighter. And just inside of here, 
we have the USB jack if you want to one charge your phone or play a USB device through this pretty kind of unit here. Close this up good. Backs of the seat have not been thrashed. Rear bench looks great. We got floor mats back here for the rear passengers. Headliner is nice and tight and firm. A little bit of the uh, the adhesive coming loose on these sail panels, not bad at all. A couple of upgraded speakers in the factory location on the package tray. Top of the seat, no splintering in any of the, the stitching, not sun faded. Clicks through the gears nice and easy, clutch is very agreeable. Um, this is, I think, the kind of car that maybe anyone who's driven a manual before can just hop in and figure it out quite easily. No, uh, no tricks, nothing required for, for this car here. Yeah, and it sounds good too. We also got some Bluetooth tunes in this baby. Comes through nicely, sounding good. Power steering, nice and easy. This is that kind of power steering you can do with just one finger. And we're rolling over all the bumps. No clunking, no banging. Wow. I've only been a mile, but I'd say this car is ready for a road trip. Indicators working inside of here just like it's supposed to. And it cancels? All right. Love the torque of a Chevy Big Block. Um, this thing can get up to the, the speed limit very quickly. Moves this, this big hunk of steel without any issue, and it's clean, clean revving through all the RPM range. No, uh, no sputter, no hiccup. Got the carb nice and dialed in. And that is fifth gear there. So at 40 miles an hour, you're at 1,000 RPMs. We'll pick it up a little bit. Fifty miles an hour is about 1,500 RPMs. That's sweet. Windows crank nice and easy. Goes back down through the gearbox real nice and easy as well. That never gets old.
thanks for coming along today. Really well put together Chevelle, really great finish. The right drivetrain, the right look. I'm digging it. If you are too and want to know anything more about it, you can always dial us up. It's 248-714-2110. Down in the description of these videos, we drop a little link. That link, you click it, is gonna bring you right over to our website. That's where we have 100 plus pictures. You can get pictures of the underbody, pictures of any uh, maybe receipts we might have for the car and you can get a little bit more familiar with our description, where it's been, what we know, and what we've done, of course. Lastly, like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed and want to see anything more. We got a lot of new stuff coming in just about every day. All right, we'll see you guys.